Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. So today we're going to be looking at some brand new news from Unity that they're working on their own AI solution. Whether this means that they want to try and be the first game engine to say that they've got something working out. And we're going to also look at a couple of integrations of ChatGPT, which are directly in Unity, and you can get them from GitHub and try them out yourself. Whether they work in practicality is very much up to you, but they just show that they do have practical uses that they could be integrated and there could be something more to it. So I'm sure a lot of you as game developers or anybody else who's watching this video know all about AI and the things that are coming around in the future and these can help you generate images, scripts, anything that you want. Speaking of AI, I can't actually move my mouse. But at least the AI knows what's going on. And if you do check out Unity's new video on announcing this feature, and it just suggests that it's going to have an AI powered set of tools, which will let you create 3D content. It doesn't specify necessarily if it's going to be 3D, 2D textures and other things like that. And what comes with it? but it may well be powerful in the future if at all this even comes to light because Unity work on features all of the time and they just get dropped and forgotten about and I've lost count how many times this has happened. But you can sign up to their Unity AI beta program which you can just sign up and you'll be invited if you get into whatever closed sneak peek they will have of what's coming in the future. So I'll put all the links down in the description for that too. And do be aware when I show you some of these integrations from GitHub from a great developer, they're not always perfect and they don't always work perfectly the first time when you generate something. So it sometimes takes a little bit trial and error. Also be sure to check out the Unity's arcade sale that's currently now on. I'll have all the links in the description, which is 50% off hundreds of assets, including my adventure puzzle kit, which you can get for a massively reduced price. And so first of all, we're going to be looking at AI Shader by Kijuro. And this is an integration of ChatGPT, which allows you to generate shaders directly in Unity and be able to create these with different properties. So to get a hold of this, you want to download the assets folder, or you can just go to the code and click to download the zip, extract that zip, and then find the asset folder in that file. And it will have an editor folder, which will have a bunch of test shaders. You do need to go to edit and project settings. And when you're on project settings and you do need to enter your API key for chat GPT, and there is a link on the GitHub page to access that page when you've logged in. Once that's accessible, you can right click in the project panel, choose create and choose AI shader. And then when we choose that, we can click to create a new shader. And this is going to be our new shader test and then as just a test scenario this is what the developer already created is a simple solid fill shader and the color is exposed as a property and you can click to generate and that will generate based on the algorithm that's used and if you do happen to get any errors a couple of times you can press to generate again and it may well fix the issue so if we go to our material that we have and I go to the unlit and find the solid fill you can see that we've created a shader which just lets us expose the color property and to be able to edit that based on what we want. Now, as another example, I wanted to create a circle shader. So I wanted to draw a circle in the center and the radius and the background color, foreground color can all be edited via the properties. And now you can see in this case, it's almost done what I wanted. It has created a circle technically, not a very even circle. We can set the radius, we can set the color of the background, and we can set the color of the actual circle itself. So you can see that it's not a perfect science, but it may have some uses in the future. And by the same developer, we have something called AI command, which this is a proof of concept to say that you can get chat GPT to work inside Unity to do specific things. And again, the setup is very similar. We just need to go into the assets and grab the editor folder. And remember, in this case, we need to put our key into the box by going to project settings. So edit project settings, and then we can go to window AI command. And you can see we've got a pop out here. It says create a hundred cubes at random points. So we'll click to run and in this case, it has created a bunch of cubes in our scene. So create five point lights at random points. We'll click to run there. And now you can see that I do have five point lights created in the scene. And let's try change the color of the directional light to red. And we'll run this. 
And now if we go to our directional light, the color is now red. So essentially this ha does have some use cases, maybe more than the actual shader creation. Maybe if the shader creation got a little bit smarter and a little bit more helpful, then it could be quite robust. But I think this, if you used it for automated features to maybe populate a scene with assets at random intervals, if you could snap them to the ground or anything like that. But these are just two suggestions from a cool developer on GitHub and maybe the future of games development is going this way, who knows? So be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think and what you think about Unity's AI and what it could involve in the future. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 185 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And do be sure to check out all the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev along with Unity's big sale that's on at the moment. Do be sure to check out all my assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website for massive savings. And a big thank you to all my patrons.